So traders, what I want to do in today's video, I want to share with you two big reasons why I do not believe we are starting the recession now. In fact, I believe this is just a little shake and bake in the markets, including the gold market, before we see an extraordinary quality move. And then, yeah, we'll see something after us. But anyway, let me share what those two things are right now. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let me get straight into the very first one. And that is, what does gold do before big recessions? And if you go back and you study, if you go back and you study uh, gold, okay, so this is gold here. If you go back and study what happens with gold ever since like literally the 70s, including the 80s, right? But really for literally since the 70s, since we actually started going off, or since we actually disconnected the, the, the gold to the dollar, you know, that sort of stuff. That The thing is, is that since the 70s, gold is a flight to basically safety, right? Flight to safety, flight to safety. They always see a flight to safety. Now, here's the thing. What gold tends to do is gold tends to make big moves, big moves before the recession starts. So I'll give you an example of what happened in 08. Let's actually go, let's actually bring up the GLD chart here. Um, and I want to give you this here. I want to share this with you here because this is, what happens this is what we can expect moving forward again no one knows definitely what's going to happen okay but what we can do is that we can study history and because humans the cause and effect relationships the same same but different times right we can go back and we can see what tends to happen to give us a clue to give us okay what's really going on right now I do not believe we are at the top of the market. Are we in a pullback right now? Are we in a deep correction? Yes. Were we in a deep correction in 2018? Yes. What happened in 2019? We, we, we just went straight back up, right? Now here's the thing. Here's what I want to share with you here. What gold tends to do is gold tends to go for a very big move first before the recession starts okay so we all i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna bring up the 08 this is actually the weekly chart so we don't need the volume here this is looking at the 08 period okay and now look at this here and this is very 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 similar to what is actually going on right now in the markets because we want to stay the, the worst one of the hardest one of the hardest things to do with trading or investing, right, is to keep our emotions out. It's like it's our hard-earned money, right? Our hard-earned money is in the market. Um, now, by the way, guys, one of the best ways to actually remove your emotions is bring your stop up to above break even as quickly as possible. So this is a bit of a tip for you guys. If I get in, say, there's, say there's a bit of a bit of a breakaway bar there, right? And the next bar does this, and the next bar does that. Guess what? I move my stop to above break even, and now I can't make a loss. And then let's actually just see what else it's got. You know what I mean? This is the best way to remove your emotions because you're just like, okay, well, worst case scenario is that um, I can't actually make a loss here. And then, you know, then you see what else it's got. I'm actually in a trade right now that did, did the exact same thing, but it's actually a bearish trade. It's actually like this. And it did that first day. It did that the next day. It did this the next day. I moved my stop to above break even. I did that the next day, and then it's done that today as well too, right? This is a short position, so I'm making money from the from the downside. As, as I'm as I'm doing this recording, anyway, there's a bit of a tip for you guys to how do you the best thing to do to remove your emotions is bring your stop above break even, so you can't actually make a loss, and then see what else the markets have got. But what the market tends to do with gold is guess what? We tend to go for a very big move. So we all we all know 2008 was right here. This is the 08 period, right here. So we all know the 2008, you know, the, the, the debacle, blah, 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 okay? We all know that, 2008 and 2009. And yes, gold did crash in, in, in the recession period, gold does crash. But what does gold do before the recession? Gold does what? Ah, 
Look at this here. Very big move into the into 08 and into the first few months of 08. And then, yes, then we had a pullback. So, yes, gold is going to get smashed. Gold, the mining sector, probably even the everything's going to get absolutely destroyed in the next recession. Even cryptos, like 12,000 cryptos, like, come on. That's the next dot-com boom. You watch. You watch. In the next recession, literally 80 to 90% of those cryptos, if you're involved with, if, if you're involved with cryptos right now, listen to me. 80 to 90% of the all, all the cryptos are going to get destroyed in the next recession. It's just history repeating itself, guys. Like, for you guys that have been around for the while, it's, it's just common sense, right? Back in 2000, guess what? It was thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of companies that had dot-com on the end of it, right? We all know that. And then guess what happened? 98% of those companies got destroyed in the recession. The next coming the, the next coming recession, everything is going to get destroyed, including cryptos. And in fact, you're going to see literally 95% plus of those cryptos out there that are literally just barge ass cryptos, right? That are worth nothing are going to get destroyed. So please guys, if you are long-term buying hold on something, just make sure you have some sort of a stopping place because... It's going to get it's going to get very 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 ugly in the next recession. Okay, um, I don't know when that's going to be, but it's going to it's going to get very 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 ugly. And guys, do not be yoloing and stuff like that. Okay, um, just don't do that. So the very first thing I must say, guys, is that that's what gold does. Now, interesting. Before the big move into 08, what did what did gold do? Look at this here. Gold did what? Nothing for about a year and a half or so. What has gold been doing for the last year and a half? Nothing. Oh, that's right. Same, same, but different. That's why I believe this is the very first indicator to tell me we're not going, we're not in a recession. We're not going to recession. Yes, we've got the negative GDP and that's it. Next recession is going to happen. It's all over. Everything's going to get destroyed. Not yet. Not yet. All right. We're going to see this happen with gold. Gold is going to see a flight to quality. Yes, we're getting a deep pullback right now. We're down about 15, 16% or something like that in the stock market, right? Let's actually continue down even more, down to 17%, down to 18%, right? But we're not there yet. It's just a big pullback. Guys, remember, look how much look how much we actually moved up in the last year and a half. This is just a nice, healthy correction in an overall big bull market, and then away we go again. You watch, the, guys, you, you watch. You watch the second half of this year. Now, maybe for the next month into June, oh, maybe we're gonna get some more blood in the streets. You know, and maybe crypto's gonna oh, crypto. Crypto is already down fifty percent. Actually, sorry, if you talk about so, some of the coins are down like <laughs> almost zero, 80, 90 percent. They're they they already had their massive crash. Anyway, um, but the big move up, right? We get a very big move up first, and then yes, in the recession we're going to get a pullback. But then after that, we're gonna see we're gonna we're going to see like forty x move. Okay, so this is what's happening. This is where we are now, present. This is what's coming in the future. Then we're going to see this future number one, for future. This is what's coming, future one, future two, and then 40X after we get the recession. 40X is what the future number three is, which simply means after we get the pullback within, within the next recession, because gold will pull back, but first we're going to get a big rise through there. Now, next chart is in line with, oh, this is actually a chart that I got from Larry Williams. I watched a video recently from Larry Williams and I wanted to share it with you. The good old Larry Williams, okay? So, it's the downturn that causes the recession. Now, it's the downturn in the Fed funds rate. That's what that should say, right? In the Fed funds rate. Let me show you what I mean here. This is the Fed funds rate. Ba, 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 right? People worried about the, the recession happening now. Now, guys, anything is possible, right? That's the stock market itself, right? That's the market itself, but anything is possible. But it's like, okay, then where are we right now? And put it this way, traders. Through history, when has been the best time to buy something? When the market's collapsing and people are fearful. And then two years later, you're like, man, I wish I just bought more stocks back then. I'm telling you right now, traders, when the whole debacle happened in 2008 and properties were getting smashed 60, 70%, guess what my mentor was doing? He called me up. Well, he didn't call me up, but he contacted me. He said, John, listen, 
you have to get in the property market right now. This is the buying opportunity of a lifetime. I'm like, no, 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 no. I was, I was too afraid, right? Because I wasn't educated back then. 2008, this is. I'm like, oh, no way, man. I'm, this thing's collapsing. Why would I get involved with it right now? He's like, John, you don't understand. We're in for a big boom. We've gone through a massive collapse. Yes, it may take 10 years, may take 15 years to, to, to go back up again. But guess what? It's, it's a cycle thing. Buy when, and I'm like, no, I'm not getting involved with that. And in fact, I was about to, I was about to buy um, a big block of units. Oh, man, I wish I did that now. A big block of units with a friend. And she was doing the analysis and so on and so forth. And we're going to go over there. We're going to set up the whole trust structures and company structures and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to buy this big block of units. Um, this is like 2009, 2010, by the way, when this was happening. And then my mentor saying, we're going to buy, we're going to buy, we're going to buy. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to go there. I want to go there. And then here we are, right? Literally over 10 years later and look at the property market. It's just like the purpose of me telling you this, guys, is that don't be so focused on the now, focus on the big picture. Okay. And the big thing I do say is that remember, tops don't happen when people are fearful. Tops, when most people are saying the market's going to crash, you may, you may get a little bit of a shake and bake, but I wouldn't say that, right? Look at this here. This is, this is since, the, since literally since 1985 here, okay? This is the Fed funds rate. What happens? They raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. But look what happens. We actually start to drop interest rates. And there's actually something else has happened in the last three ones. We drop interest rate before what? the next, the, re the recession comes, right? This is the recession period here, right? Before the recession happened, boom. But look what actually happened here. The last three times, look what's happened. We've had what? We've had a rise, rate, rise it, ride it, ride it, just ride it, ride it. Oh, put, put the brakes on and look what happened here. We went flat to slightly down, but we actually flattened out first, didn't we, right? Pause, ah, 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 ah. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more raising rates. But first, Ride, just ride, ride. Oh, no more, no more, no more. No, no more raising rates. And then look what happens. The market, the rates actually start to go down because obviously the Fed's seeing what's happening behind the scenes. And then guess what? We get the recession. So it's not the ride, ride, ride. It's not the pause, pause, pause. It's like, uh-oh. Why is the Fed starting to drop rates? Ah, oh, recession. Boom. Here. What happened here? Just ride it, ride it. One interest rate, two interest rate, three interest rate, four interest rate, five interest rate, six interest rate, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten interest rate. Oh, pause. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Oh, I'm not too sure right now. I think we're at a pretty good place right now. It's like, oh, pause, right? The pause, the pause for a little bit. Now, this is 2005, 2006, right? That, that. Pause, pause. Oh, 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 something's not right. Something's not right. The, the Fed's actually starting to drop interest rates. What does that mean? Oh, Bah, 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 bah. Recession. Look what happened this time here. Just ride it, ride it, right? This is 2015, 2016, 2017. Ride it once, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, pause, uh, pause. Uh oh, we've got to pause, we've got to pause, we've got to pause. Can't raise any rate, can't raise interest rates anymore. Oh, look what happened here. Oh, 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 oh we've got, we've got, I've got to pull back a little bit. Oh, look. Recession. So, I wonder what's coming next. This, <laughs> what, what is this thing here? Is that ride it, ride it? Is this, look, ride it, ride it, just ride it, ride it, ride it just ride it, ride it. Oh, has the ride even started yet? Maybe, maybe. I'm on front row seat, because guess what's likely to happen? We're likely to get something like this at least, right? Just ride it, ride it. We may even get down to like one and a half or something there. Just ride it, ride it. And then we get a pause and then we get a pullback. Because one thing you do see on the big picture is what? Each high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So I don't think we I don't think we can get back to two and a half again. But we probably were we probably can get down maybe to two, maybe one and a half before we have to pause again. And then we're gonna do that again, and then the recession's coming over here somewhere. So there we go, traders. That's just my little thing there. This is why I do believe in the recession. There is, this is what's um, going on right now, and this is what I truly believe, reason why 
the people right now we're going through a very shake and bake period in the markets yes it's happening it's a shake and bake period but guess what every time we get a shake and bake period this is like i'll, I'll class this like 2013 and, and you know 2000 sorry 2010 period uh 2010 2011 period right um and then the market had a very very big move up so guys all i do say is that i'm not saying to go out there and buy the stock market now all i'm saying is really keep an eye because i wouldn't be too surprised over the next few weeks maybe even move I'm not sure what's going to happen in May, but maybe from June to the second half, I believe we're going to start to get some strong reversals. And I want you just to stay alert to the possibility of different stocks starting to make bullish moves. And so we want to keep a, keep an eye out for some good trend analysis and some good setups in the markets. Okay, so there we go, traders. Or actually talking about setups, if you actually like to learn, uh, I'm actually doing four of my top trading patterns, my full trading trading systems for $4, very first thing in the description. Grab that guys, and I'll see you in the next video.